When I graduated from school two years ago, my toughest decision was choosing the right educational institution that was going to continue feeding my hunger for knowledge. And although Lebanon possesses many qualified and proficient educational establishments, I found myself here at this very university where I was led by the spirit of truth. In September 2016, Isaac witnessed the transfer of power from Father Professor Hadi Mahfouz to Father Professor George Ahbayo. He is the first president to be in charge of the full implementation of the Isaac New American Style Bylaws, ensuring the continuation of the university in its quest to become a globally significant leader in higher education and to produce responsible, hard-working citizens for Lebanon and beyond. During the last academic year, the Board of Trustees Authority was exercised through its general academic and financial policy-making functions and its responsibility for the financial health and welfare of the university. In December 2016, five new members joined the Board of Trustees. The Board of Trustee members were actively engaged in putting efforts towards the advancement of the university. They held three meetings and the fourth is planned for July 2017. All Board of Trustee committees are continuously holding meetings to tackle major and strategic issues related to academics, administration, financial aspects and strategies. Father George Ahbaya has been receiving many dignitaries Notably, Saudi Chargé d'Affaires, Mr. Walid al-Bukhari, in Lebanon. ميثاق المدينة صحيفة المدينة الذي أشرف عليها نبي المسلمي محمد بذكائه وفطنته وتطلعاته ورجويته وهذا النص العظيم في التاريخ يعتبر مسودة أولى لقانون عربي مدني في التاريخ يقول في مطلعه نحن على تعدديتنا الدينية والثقافية نشكل أمة واحدة كلياتها اغصان يافعه يستظل بظلها طالبو العلم والتميز ليلتحم الفكر والروح في عشق المكان الذي يسكن فينا ونستشعر جميعا وجودنا في هذه الجامعه التي تعبق برائحه الالفه وثقافه العيش المشترك هكذا هي جامعه الروح القدس الكسليكي Not only in Lebanon, but also abroad. The president visited French deputy, Mr. Gwendol Ruyar, representing USEC as an academic platform for its diplomacy and international relations programs. Future collaborations with the French military academy were proposed. USEC was honored at the St. Marin Feast Day celebration at Our Lady of Mount Lebanon in Los Angeles on February 19. Some of our most significant accomplishments over the past year include our ongoing developments of our university. Determined to be an excellent institution that delivers outstanding results, USAC is always keeping pace with the latest educational developments and academic updates. Let us watch Dr. Sarah Chris, Senior Advisor to the Provost, who will tell us about the newly formed freshmen and minors options for USAC students. USEC's offering of general education and minors both allow students to think beyond just the discipline that they're getting their degree in. And this will be very valuable to them when they graduate and go on the job market. One of the top priorities of USEC is to get its programs internationally accredited. USEC is constantly working towards achieving distinction on a global level 
by complying with international standards, and accordingly, it has been awarded institutional accreditations. During this academic year, USAC had great achievements across its three accreditation pillars, institutional, program, and student services. In addition to the renewal of the European Institutional Accreditation by EVALAG for another five years, USAC obtained new recognitions such as ABIT accreditation for nine computing and engineering programs, AACSB eligibility for business programs, and very shortly, the EVALAG International Accreditation for eight social sciences and humanities programs. The new programs build on existing subjects to meet standards of excellence, ensuring students at USAC are more than satisfied with their course options. One particular highlight of the year is the unique MBA program sponsored by the Bank of Beirut. Students are at the heart of the teaching and learning process at USAC. Therefore, we work hard on fostering inclusive learning environments, giving students equal opportunities to succeed. We offer different types of courses, with the main focus this year on the online and extended classes. But we also support faculty professional development to improve their teaching strategies towards engaging and active approaches. Ten faculty members were awarded the online certificate in teaching and learning, offered in collaboration with Norwich University in February 2017. Also this year, Three cohorts of faculty had the chance to complete the online teaching certificate led by the Online Learning Consortium, OLC. We are actually leading the Itale project, co-founded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. This year saw the launch of the Lebanese Professional Standards Framework, the result of year-long extensive work approved by the Directorate General of Higher Education. ISAC believes education should not just be for the few. Our university not only aims to educate its students, but also the Lebanese community as a whole. For that, ISAC created a continuous learning center, UCLC. Let's see what Dr. Rania Saleme has to say about the center. Hi, Dr. Rania. UCLC s'inscrit dans une tradition universitaire de formation continue. Le centre fait partie intégrante de l'USAC et a pour mission de diffuser la culture et de délivrer des connaissances dans tous les domaines représentant la pluridisciplinarité des enseignements dispensés à l'université. Les piliers fondateurs de l'UCLC sont un enseignement de qualité, des méthodes innovantes, cours interactifs, séances pratiques sous forme d'ateliers, des horaires souples et une vaste variété de programmes et de services allant des cours de langue au cours de nutrition, ateliers culinaires, dégustation et oenologie, ateliers théâtre, photo, dessin, peinture et bien d'autres cours susceptibles de convenir à tous les goûts. This year also saw the launch of the Asher Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Anthony J. Asher is the multiple award-winning founder and Chairman Emeritus of Weston Incorporation. He is also an active member of the ISAC Board of Trustees. Mr. Asher is personally with us on Skype to tell us more about this newly created center. The Asher Center aims to serve aspiring and existing innovators and entrepreneurs within the USEC community and contribute to their growth as well as the growth of the Lebanese economy and job creation. The Asher Center will lay a foundation and provide a network of resources that will encourage and support innovation and entrepreneurship programs and services for USAC students, faculty, and alumni. Learning at USAC happens inside official courses, but also outside of them in the form of chapters. In addition to the IEEE chapter, USAC Student Branch the Faculty of Fine and Applied Arts has established its own chapter, the American Institute of Architecture Students, which was launched in March this year. This is where ISAC students become alumni. The university is grateful to its worldwide network of alumni who maintain their loyalty to ISAC beyond their years of study. Let's have a word 
with one of our most notable members of our alumni family, Mr. Antoine Chaya, member of the Renzo Piano Building Workshop in Paris and honorary member of the Lebanon Green Building Council. Il y a 33 ans, j'étais encore euh, élève ici. Et, euh, et à l'époque, euh, euh, j'avais qu'un seul rêve, c'est de, de pouvoir travailler avec un, un grand architecte que je connaissais depuis les livres, euh, Renzo Piano. Et alors, en 87, trois ans après mon diplôme, je suis diplômé en 84, j'ai décidé de, de partir en France pour essayer éventuellement de travailler dans ce bureau-là. Alors j'arrive et je suis tout de suite embauché, et là, ça fait 30 ans. Our recent graduates are also a reason to be proud. Their exceptional innovations and accomplishments make them stand out in Lebanon and abroad. Kvitchel is a project of a project from the last year. I'm a project in the architecture of Uzaq. كان مطلوب منا بروجي ديزاين نخترع شيء ايكو فريندلي لحياتنا اليوميه تعملت مطلب بتشرج على الطاقه الشمسيه اني بورتبل ديفايس تابلتس ايفون اما ايباد وبذات الوقت في براد بحافظ للحراره اب تو 2 لترز فينا نحط انينت مي كبيره بتضل محافظه على الحراره بقلبها لما تسخن The physical expansion of Uzak continues its progress with a new building for the Faculty of Medicine which is now under construction in Jibir. It will provide state-of-the-art learning resources and offer many opportunities for medical students to earn valuable experience at Uzak's partner hospital nearby. Learning and research are at the very heart of Uzak's educational mission. And it is for this reason that Uzak has one of the richest and most prestigious libraries in the region. Recent renovations are further testament to Isaac's commitment to creating a peaceful setting with the resources and services needed to create the right learning, teaching, and research of our community. The Phoenix Center for Lebanese Studies has recently added important archives to its collection, including the archives of Romeo Lahoud and Salwal Katrib, the archives of the Ministry of Tourism, and the archives of Balbak Studios, the most prominent movie-producing company of the Arab world between 1960 and 1975. Highly engaged in extracurricular activities, Uzak students take part in numerous national and international contests. Among many successes this year, Uzak Robotics team won first prize after competing with 18 other teams representing different universities. Let's meet Jeffrey to know more about his experience. Uzak's Robotics competition is a worldwide competition where the winner in each country participates in the World Championship in the US. During the local competition day, we faced about 18 teams from different universities and we were able to win the championship for the second time, which qualified us to participate in the World Championship in Kentucky, where we were ranked 13th out of 31 teams from all over the world. And it was an unforgettable experience. Isaac sports teams have long established themselves on the sports field, and this year was no exception. Teams took competed in national and international university competitions and ranked among the best universities in Lebanon and the region, winning numerous championships all around the world. Why do we organize events? In line with its mission to offer an enriching holistic educational experience, Uzak organizes academic and cultural events, including international symposiums and conferences, which draw an array of experts and specialists from around the global academic community.
Tech is proud of its student-friendly campus life. Beyond giving students the ability to perform well in what is an increasingly competitive job market, a dynamic campus life beyond the classroom can make the university experience even more rewarding. By organizing social and entertaining events all year round, whether in our main campus in Castique and in our three regional university centers in Sheikh Karmesh and Zahri, students have the opportunity to take a break from their studies, to network, socialize with others, and bond through shared experiences. This year, one event linked all four campuses together, creating environmental awareness. Dr. Lindos will share the importance of this event. Isaac Cycling Tour is an eco-friendly project that aims to connect all Isaac campuses together and at the same time to motivate the faculty, the students, to work out more, to push their limits and to do more sports in their lives. And at the same time, it's about having this other perspective of Lebanon. Lebanon is so diverse in its greenery and its environment where you can experience this on the bicycle in a totally different way. Uzak looks forward to working closely with you all and to continue our relationship and partnership in moving Uzak from good to excellent, continuing the university's storied history far into the future.